Welcome, brother. Let's have a look inside here. Brother! Nikodokodobodus. Yes, I'm the Infirmarius here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. <laughs> it's a blessing to... So, training. Alright, we're going to do that later on. Um, what do you have? You have like books? Yes. You want to put to write the places of light? You choose your perks in you. Oh, that would be something actually. But that's fucking expensive. One thousand five hundred. Whoa, that's a bit uh, expensive. Say, really? That's all. What do you have? <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna buy anything then. Fine. All right, Nico. How are the wounded from Scalets? Some of them are well taken care of, but others, others are dying here, needlessly. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. So you don't normally treat the wounded then? Well, there were accidents, of course. A broken leg, someone who'd been kicked by a cow or bitten by a goat. But this? I've never dealt with the carnage of battle before. If only it had been a battle. This was cold-blooded slaughter. You were there? God be merciful to you and the dead and the wounded. Sure. So, can I help? How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? Yes. I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However, you don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. That's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith, but I have been around the wounded before. What do I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. What do you think about the custodian? Baron von Berg? Well, he does his job well. He keeps us safe here. And the last time I saw him was when I was rubbing ointment on his rash. I heard he's been here a lot lately. That's true. He comes to visit Johanka. But he's never here long, and he always leaves unsatisfied. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then I guess he goes to the bathhouses and leaves satisfied. Thank you. Basically, that's how I do it. Why are they so badly provided for? People are crammed in next to each other, and some have to sleep outside. That can't be good for them. It gets freezing here at night. I've... I can't afford anything more for them. How is that possible? You're the Infirmarius. You decide how all the money gets spent. But I have no say in how much money I'm given. And because the abbot's away, it's still the same amount I had when I was taking care of a few old men. Mm-hmm. So can't you do anything? Can't you do anything? Won't the others help? Unfortunately not. The brothers in the cloister aren't much interested in the external world. And the custodian has enough on his plate with the chaos in the region. Besides, his main concern is the smooth running of the monastery. You mean the smooth running of his cock inside of Johanka's pussy? And the local custodian? His crew has enough provisions. I tried him, but it seems he had some disagreement with Johanka and now he won't give us anything. Mm. Oh, come on, Johanka. Just I'll try to put out... To <laughs> I can't believe your conscience lets you leave the Scalitz locals in such a state. I know. I'm ashamed. But my brothers believe it's all in God's hands now. Bastards. Even so, conditions here seem to me quite unchristian. You're not the only one. 
I'd like to learn some. Hmm. A bit of everything. Can you now? But to be more precise, do you understand herbs and medicinal plants? Yes. I do. In that case, you've come to the right place. Someone who knows what they're doing will have it done in a jiffy. Go to the herb garden, take a good look at what's growing there, and then pull up the weeds in the herbaceous beds. Is that clear? No. Clear. I can get cracking. Not so fast. Have I even told you what I consider a weed? It's dandelions, stinging nettles, and thistles. Those plants have their use, but they've no business growing among the Euphrasia and the Mentha, or anywhere else in that garden, for that matter. Where is it they're not supposed to grow? Between the mint. Once you've cleared the garden of weeds, mm -hmm. come back. And woe betide you if you pull up anything but weeds. Don't worry, you've never had as good a garden. <laughs> How do I know which? You see, this is the part where you learn something. Look in the herbarium to find out what a dandelion, stinging nettle, and thistle. I know what it is. You see, this is. Alright. Stop spitting around, you bastard. Um. Damn it. Alright, you know what? Let's do some training here. Did you teach me? Certainly. Ah. Well. He doesn't do beginners. Alright. Again. Well, we don't have any cave mushrooms. We have, I haven't even found any cave mushrooms, and we also don't have no belladonna. So I don't want to do anything about that until I find some belladonna. Yeah. Are you oh, hello, dead people. He just needs to sleep. Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep! What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. Hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I can't get any sleep. Hmm. All right. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Oh, then for God's sake, do it quickly. Yeah, but for that, I need something, I don't know. Is it God's hand? Yeah. Uh, I need something like uh, like a. I need to brew something. These wounds have been well That's taken care of. He needs to be. Hello. Luck pick this one out. Okay. What are you doing here? You're not from Scalets. No, but please help me. I can't stay here. What? Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks rest can't fix. Weeks? My God, I have to get back to work sooner than that. Why? What What's wrong? You? I was working on the building when the scaffolding up by the roof collapsed underneath me. Well, and you're very lucky you survived at all. Yes, that's what everyone tells me. But it's no use being alive if all I can do is lie here like a wet sack of barley. Well, if you're dead, you just keep on lying like a wet sack of barley and you never stay in up again. What's the problem? Why can't you stay until you heal? I have a family. I'm poor. It's only thanks to the building work that we can survive. And the master told me if I don't come back in a few days, then I shouldn't come back at all. And where can me and my wife go then? Who'll take us in? We'll end up living in the woods where any bandit or ruffian can sit on us. Ah, the good old days of medieval times where you... You know, union wasn't really much of a thing. <laughs> Alright, let's see. How can I help? Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse, and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. 
And do you remember what the herbs were? I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. Something has to be written about it. A herbarium. Anything. I'll try to find something. Thank you. Thank you. Get the healing herbs. Do I know what, what kind of healing herbs? Purple herb. Well, that's probably some sage, isn't it? Hey, Hans. Why the fuck are you waking me up? Fuck off, Hans, man. You look all right. Mostly, but my leg still hurts. Did the cumans wound you? <laughs> that's what I tell the ladies. Truth is, I did myself a mischief while I was running away. Hmm. And do they rebandage it for you? Occasionally. They told me they don't have enough bandages. Well, that's no use. Those bandages need changing. I'll get some. All right, come on, Auntie. I have bandages. I'm pretty sure I have bandages. Yeah, there you go. Come on, hands. Hands. Ah. These wounds have been well taken care of. He just needs to sleep. Mm, look at that. We can sleep with the with the dead people. <laughs> wounds have been well taken care of. Hmm. He's not reacting. But all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask your hunker. Philip. From Scallets. Hmm. I don't see any wounds. But he's shaking terribly. Alright then. Betty. Your hunker. So, um... Nothing over here. What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg. A bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before, and it didn't end well. My God. There has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. Well, I can. Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? Unfortunately, I've had occasion to try this sort of thing before. You have to place the bones as precisely as you can next to each other. It's hard, but you have to ignore any screams of pain. That's the only way to help him. Well, fine. Try it, then. All right, about Semek. One of the sick men, Semek, is complaining about pain and the fact he can't work. He says he... Semek? Is he one of our people? No, he's a construction worker. He's bruised and confined to... Henry, for God's sake, our neighbours are dying here. Your friends. There isn't time to waste on some construction workers' bruises. Oh, honestly, what were you thinking? Listen, all I need to find out is the name of a herb. Then go and look it up in a book. You've got your own herbarium, haven't you? I do? I don't know. Do I? What happened to Philip? Poor man. There was nothing wrong with him, and now he's getting worse every day. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scalitz, you see. He hid for days among the corpses. If he got poisoned... But what can we do? Us. Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. He knew a lot about poisons. And where is he? You know he left Scalitz years ago. And does anyone know where he ended up? <laughs> if you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go. Okay. Well, about that. Let's... <laughs> I wonder if we hear something. Are you holding him firmly? Uh -oh. oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> well, there, there weren't really that many screens, but. Oh shit, my right leg is. Hey, what shit? Fuck, my leg is even hurting from that now. Oof. All right. What are we gonna take now? We have. 
Ja. The, the Tidus thing will stay the same though. It's just eh, who gives a shit? Hmm. Well, the look of the hero. The thing is, I need something where I can get like faster. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, so what do we take now? Finally sick the look of the hero. It's fine. No need anything else. I, I really don't understand. Like Hans. We we have God's hands now. Find bandages for hands wounds. Why the fuck am I supposed to do that? Ah, Find Father Salmon. Studio supplies. I mean, Henry, I'm glad you stopped by. I, I don't know. Bandages, man. Bandages. Can I use the bandages somehow? I don't think so. I'm bleeding. I don't get it, but all right. Oh, wait, where's the herbarium? Is this no? Oh, I right, need to find those things. Please, and wards. Uh huh. Bavarium, the sickness, how to recognize. Yeah, I don't want to read all that, do I? What's this? Hmm. Alright, I get your shit, Muddy. Why the f Shut up, Hans. I have the bandit. Wonderful. Could you tell Brother Nick? I can do it myself, you bastard. Um, I thought you were a blacksmith. Well, I'm a man of many trades, so. Ago. But unfortunately, I've had to learn a thing or two about the art of medicine since then. Well, fine then. There you go. Happy now? How, How are you, you feeling, feeling, man? Good. It feels clean. It will. Tell them to rebandage you daily. You have the bandages here. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. Did I just give him ten bandages? Yes, I did, man. Well, it's fine. We have plenty of bandages as it is, so. Brother Elias. And who, who are you? you? Brother Elias. I got that, but. What do you do here? What I can. I'm just trying to help the Scallets locals as much as I can. Really? How long have you been helping here? Since before the refugees arrived. It was much less crowded back then. And what do you do here exactly? Mainly I help Brother Nicodemus. Occasionally I keep watch at night in case... Someone takes a turn for the worse. Sometimes I have to hold the patient down, or fetch and carry things. Yeah, sex, man. Do you know anything about healing? A little. I can manage the basics, but without Brother Nicodemus, I'd never be able to deal with the more difficult cases. Well, you need to learn, brother. You need to learn.
All right, man, it's really, really bright outside here. Or should I say it's really dark in here? Hmm. Brother. What's this? Oh, there's the custodian. He's over there. Oh, you got some crappy horses. I do like our stamina. The speed of our horse is not that high, but, um... Yeah, it could be worse. Look at that. Capacity is more important. Oh, we're gonna look over here a bit later. Hey, you look almost like us. Zmola. You have almost our the same attire as we do. For whoever's in charge here. The construction's led by Master Builder Corel. You'll recognize him easily enough. He's the only one who doesn't look like a laborer. But if you want to talk to the overseer, then he's probably in his study at the top of the stairs in the gatehouse. Yeah, fuck you too, Zmola. Who are you? Master Karel. Master, Master Karel. Master Karel. You bastard, Karel. What's the matter, laddie? Need to shit? Yes. Actually, I do. Good night, you bastard. <laughs> Get the money. All I need. Wait, you. Leshik. You. Your name kind of sounds familiar. Hmm. What are the poetry? What is it? Stone mission. Stone mission. Get up. Stone mission. Are you serious? These are big ass stones, aren't they? Look at that. Oh my goodness. Big ass fucking stones. Stone mission. Can't wash ourselves in here. Hey. What are you doing over here? about here for hey i'm going already don't you worry okay that was weird this area was of limits but if we approach that uh, that door we kind of were not of limits anymore which i find a kind of weird but okay Go. There we go. Come on. We're even trespassing around here, really? Interesting. Brother. What do I have? You must want to serve God. Be willing to sacrifice yourself and do labor. And if I do all that? <laughs> That's all you need, if you really want to spend the rest of your life in a monastery. Apart from being literate, and having a letter of admission signed by the abbot, of course. But the main thing is to feel it in your heart. A monk spends most of his time in quiet contemplation and communion with the Lord, fervent prayer, and labor to the glory of all creation. What do uh, I is that all? Yeah, yeah, all right, right. I'm just looking around, buddy. I'm just looking around. Hmm, plants. The plants. Master. Oh, master. Master. The master doesn't want to talk to us. I guess the master is the bastard. I don't like that you're standing around here in the middle of the road, so I'm gonna put you, I don't know, somewhere to the side. Yeah. To the sickies. Your hanker will take care of you. So I'm just gonna put you right over here with the shit. Perfect. Ah, that's a bit. No. You're gonna stay here with the hay. You can eat the hay. There you go. 
All right. Where you? Damn. Let me see his hand. Don't you want to talk to us? No? I guess you're a bastard. That's why you don't want to talk to us. Sure thing. So someone up there is the overseer. So how do we get to him? Yes, that's a good question. Hmm. Why right, this this place again? Well, this place is completely empty, so... Page from a tomb book. You don't belong yeah. here, leave right now. Now we're here. Mm-hmm. Interesting. All right, I'm, I'm I'm learning about the place a bit more and more here and there. <laughs> we just run around a lot until we find a way. Until we find a way. All right, up here. Maybe that's a way to get to the overseer. Apparently not. This the guard's place or something. Wait a second. Who are you? The overseer. Hey, man. With you. And with you. I've come in the name of Sir Divish. I'd like to have a look around the spot where the accident happened. And why is Sir Divish interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it. Or at least its quality. I guess it played a crucial role. But I don't intend to stand in the way of your investigation. I've already made sure the poor man was well taken care of. And that's enough for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Who's in charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery. But those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well? Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Mm-hmm. Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. Mm-hmm. So, why are you so late with the payment then? That you were late with your payment to the Talmberg Quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments and it took some time before we gathered enough money to pay. But that's happened in the past. Interesting. Can I not talk to you anymore? You didn't want me fighting. Now look at me. Standing up to evil isn't the same as sowing its seeds. You did what was right. 